It's Stefan. Um, I have cool new emo hair this week. See, it's all short in the back and all like swoopy in the front. I need it to grow out longer in the front though. I'm thinking about dyeing it a color, but I don't know what color yet. Maybe like blue or purple or hot pink. You can vote down below. Um, <laughs> First I'll talk about uh, medical stuff for me personally. Um, even though I identify as genderqueer, I also identify as trans on the more male side. Um, so even though I don't like choosing, I feel like I'm, if I had to choose, I would be more male than female. So um, I've taken steps to medically transition. Um, I've been on testosterone for about six months now, a little over six months, and um, you can uh, check over, I guess, that side, and I'll put a link to my tea update blog video things um, if you want to know more about that. But um, I don't necessarily feel that I need to be on male levels of testosterone. I'm on, like, kind of a medium level, I guess, right now. Like, it's lower than normal male levels, I guess, but, um, it's enough that I haven't had my period, my regular period in, like, two months, which is sweet. Um, and I'm growing some facial hair and some other body hair, and my, um, fat distribution has all changed, so I have, like, skinnier hips and more of a belly now, but we'll work on that. <laughs> um... I do plan on having chest surgery, um, male reconstructive chest surgery. Um, I've been binding for about two years now, and I'll also put a link over there to my binding video, and, uh, where I talk about my tremaculous kazabs, which you can't ever see because I'm always binding, or I'm wearing a huge shirt when I do these videos. So, um... Yeah, probably, it looks at this point, like, I'm just going to flat to San Fran and uh, do my surgery with Brownstein. It was a bit of a struggle deciding where I want to go and all of that. Um, my insurance is kind of awesome in that it doesn't have a trans exclusion policy, and it actually has an explicit trans policy, which will cover my surgery. Um, but then I've had the challenge of finding a doctor who will work with my insurance. Um, I was really leaning a lot towards the pedicle procedure where they, um, keep the nipple attached to the, uh, the nerve stock and, um, <laughs> woo, close up, <laughs> and, um, then, uh, you have a greater chance of retaining nipple sensation afterwards, and that was really, really important to me, um, but the surgeon who has the best results with that surgery, um, won't help me out with my insurance at all, because for my insurance, the surgeon needs to contact them for prior authorization, and then, um, we can do all that stuff, but, um, they won't, um, my insurance won't pay, like, afterwards if they haven't had any advanced warning, basically, so I can't just go ahead and get the surgery and then bill the insurance because they'll be like, oh, well, we didn't approve it first, ha, 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 <laughs> and, yeah, stupid, but, um, but Brownstein said that, um, he'll be willing to work with my insurance, and at this point, like, um, I know I'll have a good-looking chest if I go to him, and if I can save some money, that would be excellent, because it's, like, eight grand. Um, a lot of people that I've talked about who've had the double incision with the nipple graft have said that, you know, don't just automatically give up on having nipple sensation just because you're having graft, because some people do end up having decent nipple sensation afterwards, and you'll pretty much definitely get, like, at least tactile sensation, which, you know, would be cool, and if it's erotic sensation, then it's even better, so, um, so I think I'll just go ahead and do the double incision with graft and keep my fingers crossed about sensation, um, kind of rambling, but, um, uh, I'm not interested in bottom surgery at all, um, I totally love my bits, um, <laughs> I love my bits to bits, and, um, so, so that's not a problem, <laughs> um, and also I'm not interested in having a hysterectomy unless I really need it, um, 
the the common folklore or whatever of the trans community is that once you're on testosterone, you don't really know the long-term effects, and um, you know they say it messes with uh, you know your bits and such like that long long term, but there really hasn't been any studies. So um, at Southern Comfort at the Southern Comfort Conference in Atlanta this uh, this past year, one of the OBGYNs that was there was saying that he hasn't really noticed any difference between when he does histos on guys who are not on T and when he does histos on people who have been on T for years. So it's kind of um, a myth per se, or it's kind of like one of those cases of correlation not always meaning causality because I think that you are at higher risks of cancer and stuff like that if you don't go to get yourself checked out. Um, a lot of trans guys are really super dysphoric and don't like to go to um, get their girly bits, um, you know, checked and stuff like that. So I think that is what causes the higher risks of cancer among trans guys, not necessarily the fact that they're on tape. So, um, yeah. And also, um, since I'm more genderqueer oriented, um, I'd like to have the, the options of changing my testosterone dosage not based on male level. So if I feel that I've gotten to a level where I'm, I'm comfortable enough in how I look and my outward view of masculinity, I want the option to be able to stop testosterone or lower it or whatever I feel necessary. So, long story short, I don't like surgeries. I've never had a surgery, and I don't want a lot of them. So, if I could avoid the histo altogether, it would be fabulous. Um, okay. So, the next section is how young is too young to decide on medical options for gender. Um, like everybody said, it's a really hard decision, and it's really hard to make cut-and-dry rules for everyone because everybody's different, and gender is like stars in the night sky, and everyone is unique, little snowflakes. So, <laughs> I honestly don't know what I would have done at puberty because I really didn't think about gender a whole lot until puberty happened, and I had no idea that it was possible to transition. I had no idea about trans people until I was in college. Um, like you all have uh, seen my childhood video, I didn't really think of myself as gendered in any way, particularly um, until puberty hit. Like, I mean, I knew I was supposed to be a girl, but being a girl didn't keep me from doing the things that I wanted to do and having the body that I wanted to have until puberty hit. And then it was like, ah, boobs, oh my god. Um, so, I also think that, yeah, like, if somebody said, oh, you know, at puberty you can grow up to be a boy or a girl, I would definitely have not wanted boobs and stuff like that. But, so I think I still would have ended up, you know, identifying as genderqueer and as trans, not just as a straight boy. But I also think that it would have been incredibly, incredibly awkward to be trans during high school, at least when I was in high school. And I don't know how it have felt fitting into all-male space in, like, locker rooms and stuff like that once I got to high school, um, I would have been a completely different person if I didn't have those experiences, and I'm not sure that I want to be a completely different person, because I kind of like who I am right now. And just as when people ask me, you know, do you wish that you were born a boy, I always say no, because I value my female and my male experiences, and so do, do you think I would have transitioned at puberty? I don't know. Do, do I wish that I had transitioned earlier in college? Hell yes. I think the idea of a delayed puberty seems pretty cool. Um, it gives kids a little bit more of an option to, um, to figure out what they really want, but I think that from what I've seen, the kids that are really, really adamant that there's something different when they're younger pretty much have it figured out. Um, I mean, I'm not going to judge anybody else's feelings about their gender.